When using your dialog boxes to interact with the users, sometimes you'll want them to provide you with a range of cells to carry out a particular action on. Now you could use a straightforward text box and allow them to type the range in, but you're sort of hoping that they'll type the range in the right syntax and they won't miss a colon out, they won't put an exclamation mark in the wrong place and all those kind of things that could go wrong if you just give someone a plain text box. What would be nicer, and obviously possible, is the ability for them to highlight the range that they want affecting before they click OK. There is a control on our user form toolbox called Ref Edit, which allows them to highlight the range that they're after. So again, in our form template, which is our basis for our user form, if we want to give people the ability to highlight a range, then we use the Ref Edit control, which is this one here. Place it on our form. We could do with adding a label. Now we know how to do that. So I'm going to call that LBL range with a caption of please select the required range. Let's just move things down a bit. We don't need to be right at the top of the form here. Our ref edit object here has a name of ref edit one. I'm going to call that txt range. And then we can see if it works. So we run the form, please select the required range. Here's our little browse button. And we highlight the range and go back in. And you see it's picked up the range absolutely, name of the sheet, and then the absolute reference of the range selected. Clicking OK then carries out whatever actions we want to take place. So what would we want to take place? Well, simply we could do something to that range. So let's go behind our OK button again. Place your actions here. Well, firstly, I need to be able to convert the selected range, which effectively is just a text label at the moment, into a physical range that we can then work with. So let's declare a variable, dim x as range. It's an object, so we need a set, set x equal to the range and then instead of putting the values in manually we get them picked up from our ref edit box which I called txt range dot value so we declare a variable that's a range object we then set the value of that range object to be the range defined in our little ref edit our little highlight option and then we can do what we like so with x and then end with so between there and there I can do dot interior dot color equals VB red and then set the font so dot font dot color equals VB white so I'm setting the background color to red and the font color to white so let's go back to our form rerun the form, select our range for so these cells here, and OK. No errors, perhaps something's worked. We go back to the Excel to have a look, and we can see that they are all red background. And the only way of finding out if the font's white is by typing in. And presto, they've all got a white font. So that's using the ref edit object. It simply allows people to browse and select a range we can then use that range wherever we would like by effectively using the range object and feeding in the value of the little selection box, the ref edit box. And then we can do as we wish with that range. Here I've called it X and I've set the background color to red and the font color to white.